I hope everybody is excited because it's time for us to relive our traumatic experiences. Local 58 is one of the most devious, diabolical, and demonic series that we've watched off of YouTube so far. And the other day, they randomly dropped an absolute nuclear bomb on our heads. I had just finished emotionally recovering from the original series, bro, and then they randomly just came in with a baseball bat and took out both of my knees with their newest video. Thankfully, we all have the big, warm, and comforting hug of Matt Pat and the film theorists to explain exactly what the hell is going on. Hopefully, this is not foreshadowing Shadowing the complete collapse of society, bro, because this is just getting out of hand at this point. Without any further ado, Film Theory, the final broadcast, Local 58. Let's see what we got. After two years of silence, Local 58 is back. Not just with another video, but a fully realized air G. Yeah, finally, two years of peace and mental stability and that all just crumbled immediately complete with mysterious phone numbers yeah. and broken web pages all repeating the same cryptic message someone or something wants us dead don't look up Am I gonna get brainwashed in this video too? Hello internet, welcome to Film Theory. Hey man. The channel that made the jump to digital a decade before it was required by shady government organizations. A quick gentle reminder here at the top of the episode that Film Theory merch is still available, including the nice A gentle reminder, go cop some merch. Logo, Cause I know you losers underside. ain't got no drip. Can you be getting shoved in shoved in lockers? You get swirlies and wedgies on the daily. Cop some Film Theory drip and you chillin'. That you right, all the, the women ain't gonna want you. Way, it's facts. The theory. Today, we're returning to the terrifying world of Local 58, the YouTube series credited for the creation of the analog horror genre. For those of you who don't know, analog horror is classified as a type of content that uses technology like VHS tapes, radio, and old television broadcasts to tell cryptic stories. In the case of Local 58, each upload is a clip from a local access channel. You know, the type that you'd see yeah, in any small to tell you stories about demons and homicide and apocalypses. Yeah, that's what it is. And the, the doomsday of the universe. Down around yeah. the US. City council meetings, old black and white movies that have fallen into the public domain, crudely made home videos, relaxing Muzak playing against a generic schedule of upcoming programming. It sounds like the makings of the most boring thing ever. Like, there's a reason like people PBS. do not watch local public access television. Oops, my anarchy symbol. But each one of Local 58's uploads comes with a horrifying twist. A shadowy figure here, dead body there, diagram showing us how we can lie in our yards to die sinister threats warning us against looking at the sky yeah. now back in 2019 i watched nothing all these too, videos and nothing too crazy just a guidebook on how to finally accept your imminent doom and give up your life to the demons bro yeah no, nothing, nothing too crazy Love how he's just casually breezing by this as if this isn't just a big deal. Came to the conclusion that the I'm glad you're having a good time. With aliens from the moon, intercepting our television broadcast frequencies in order to get people to kill themselves and each other. At the time, I thought it was a pretty solid conclusion, but now with these new uploads, I'm having second thoughts. And no, it's not just because the creator came out and debunked the whole alien theory. It's mostly the reason, but not all of it. When you relook at all the evidence, it seems like the threat that we're dealing with is actually much bigger than just an alien species. But to understand what it is and why I think that we have what to does start that mean? with the latest upload, Digital Transition. The video starts with an old- What is the- what does that mean? Alien society isn't our biggest threat, dude. So who are we fighting? Who's- who's the threat, bro? Is it Thanos, dude? Like, what is this? Are we all- it's just- we're all just fucked. No stopping nothing, dude. Black and white television show, which we can figure out, is a 1959 anthology series named One Step Beyond. A series in the vein of The Twilight Zone and The Outer Limits, where each episode tells its own spooky paranormal story. Once the show's over, we're brought back to our usual programming schedule, and we're told that Local 58 will be switching from an analog to a digital signal in accordance with FCG guidelines. So, uh, a few things to pick apart here. First, okay. what does it mean to switch from an analog to a digital signal? Well, analog television signals are transmitted through 
airwaves over a set frequency. Mm -hmm. This makes them susceptible to interference. Right. And the further away you are from the source, the more likely Perfect. you're going to get interference, I understand all of this. Absolutely. Now, last time we covered Local 58, mm -hmm. we concluded that whoever was trying to communicate with us, they were hijacking that exact signal. We even found the frequency that they were broadcasting at. Digital signals don't have that problem. They're packets of compressed data, ones and zeros, which can only be received and read by your appliance in one way. There's no okay. F signals or interference. It's either working or it's not, as the packet of data is one secure thing. If it's interfering, you just all of this. don't get a signal. In terms of Local 58, what this transition is doing is silencing whatever was hijacking the analog signal trying to communicate with us. The second major detail here is the FCG. Now, nice! Into it That's comforting at least! That's comforting, and that makes me feel a little bit better, bro, is that they were actively trying to prevent the signal from getting hijacked and us getting fucking clapped up by the aliens, dude. That, that makes me feel a little bit better about myself, that somebody is actively doing something about this. A couple of FCGs out in the real world, the Foreign Clearance Guide for the Department of Defense, and this one, which provides financial, regulatory, and technological support. But their logos don't seem to match up with the one that we see. Fortunately, the creator Chris Straub graced us with an answer to this on Twitter. FCG is the Federal Communications Governance. Basically, his in-universe version of the real world's FCC, the Federal Communications Commission. We see in the video that the change okay. is mandated to happen tonight, July 13th, 2021. And that's not an arbitrary date. Back in 2020, 2011, the FCC actually mandated the change from analog to digital signals for small local broadcasters. When did they have to make the change by? 2015. But that eventually got pushed back to, you guessed it, July 13th, 2021. Good My job, Chris. God. Did your homework. But just as the clock strikes midnight and the transition is happening, I don't know what that means. something resisting. Faint messages in the background that appear to be trying to break through the conversion. It's a bit hard to read, but with some effort, you can make it out. I, the one you watched. I, yeah, it was a warning. They make it's a boost. The prophecy. I remember they that. Cut the thoughts I am all knife, all knife. Thoughts shape in needles. They dream themselves in knives. And along the top of the screen, the header updates to betrayal. I come in through the window. Don't know what that whole thing means yet, but they're talking about. Excuse knives. me, I must have missed that, dude. Must have missed that part. Where did the world? Knives, and that makes me real uncomfortable. It's Why does this happen, bro? I was so I was somehow miss seem to miss the very minor details that make this a whole lot worse than it actually is, dude. It's wet whenever I watch a cooking channel. Also, not a good thing for a guy with his own cooking show, but whatever. Eventually, a stronger signal breaks through, and we end on the final words: unthinking, they move to cut his throat, only to make a thousand mouths. If he is silenced, we will speak for him. Signs and wonders flood our little sky no stars above us only eyes waiting to open there are other receivers notice here that there's actually a Is switch that from first person to third person the actual broadcast text was i the one you watched whereas this breakthrough signal is they cut his throat we speak for him that means that there appear to be two different entities talking to us here but who or what are they well we know from the first set of messages that whatever is this is see now this is guess is getting too complicated dude now we're getting now you're throwing english at me talking about past tense talking about the third person dude i, I got straight c's in english class bro i'm not built for this dude you, you tell me i was two two cryptic beings talking to me dude to us has always been here for us was something that well we know from the first set of messages that whatever is speaking to us has always been here for us was something that we used to watch notice the past tense it also comes in through the window that coupled with the moon imagery that appears in pretty much every upload coming through the wit Local 58 leads me to believe that it is, in fact, just the moon talking to us. The moon does indeed come through our window every night. It has always been up there it's for kinda us. Creepy. And humanity used to watch it and felt marveled by it. But now we have ourselves television. Thought from little pieces, little packets of data put together to show on a screen, which pulls us away from being in awe of nature, from worshiping things like the stars and the moon. Hence why the Bro, moon okay, I see the point you're trying to make, dude. But, uh, I guess I'm just built different, dude. Because if electricity didn't exist, you still not gonna catch me sitting staring at no damn moon. Excuse me? No. Of nature. From I, don't I don't think television is the problem, Mr. Moon, sir. I, I just, uh, dude.
I just think I just think you don't got it, dude. Maybe you should open up an OnlyFans, show some ass. Maybe some people will admire you then. Things like the stars and the moon, hence why the moon feels betrayed. And while I fully recognize that the theory of the moon is a talking entity sounds insane, in the lore of the series, there actually might be some more truth to it than you'd think. The second most recent upload is Sky Watching, in which we see close-ups of the moon covered not with rock and dust, but with organic webbing, like veins or sinews. It also seems to be breathing, as we see gases or souls or something flowing across the surface of it. The moon in this upload can also disappear and reappear much closer to Earth, so weird detail there. There's also some older evidence to this too. Chris Straub, as I mentioned before the series creator, has said that whatever this series is, quote, it's alien to our existence, but no, I never get excited about extraterrestrials. And an article on TV Tropes claims okay. that Chris has stated that it's a cosmic horror story, though I gotta say I wasn't able to find the primary source to verify that. So it could very well be that the moon is an eldritch type monster, or is home to so the moon is a demon. the cosmic entity like Cthulhu. There's also one little Easter egg that I learned. So about there's not, there's not demons on the moon. The demon is the moon. That's wonderful, dude. That's one of, is that why he be fucking with the high tides? Is he trying to drown people? Is that what it is? Reddit user Omni the maniac. Who pointed out that the opening clip of One Step Beyond at the top of the upload has actually been altered. The narrator's name has been changed from John Newland to John Newman, a German word for new moon. The other voices then seem to be worshippers of whatever the moon is. Notice that it says, signs and wonders flood our little sky, implying that these people are here on earth. If the what? moon is silenced, or in their words, if his throat is cut, then these individuals will take up his message, hence the thousand mouths that are being referenced. And again, we actually see a bit of this in sky watching. When the moon This is getting complicated. My brain hurts. My brain, my brain hurts, dude. I'm I'm, I'm sweating, bro. I, I'm not, I'm not not having a fun time, dude. I'm reliving emotional trauma. We're doing English and Germans thrown in here, bro. It's only a matter of time before you start throwing math at me, dude. God forbid we get into some chemistry and science, bro. The mouths that are being referenced. And again, we actually see a bit of this in sky watching. When the moon reappears at the end of the video, a man walks into frame, raising his hands, and the words rejoice appear on screen. He's welcoming the moon's arrival. Just makes me wonder. No stars above, only eyes waiting to open. Are these worshippers right? Is everything in the night sky alive? I mean, if the moon is, why not everything else? But this is only scratching the surface of what this video brings to the table. You see, Digital Transition also gives us a phone number to call. The phone number is certainly creepy, but not altogether helpful. Calling it plays some distorted audio. Can you actually call this number? Can you a Dude, I'm gonna call this number, and I'm gonna get- Dude, I swear to God, somebody's gonna hack into my shit, bro. And I'm gonna be sitting there, I'm gonna be taking a giant, absolute nuclear shit on the toilet, bro. Somebody's gonna be watching me through my fucking camera, dude. I'm telling you, this is a terrible idea, dude. Do not try this at home. I am a trained cell phone professional, okay? I'm calling this number. Quit playing with me, dude. Quit playing with me. We putting on speakerphone. Oh my god! Motherfucker hung up on me! Who the fuck the moon think he is hanging up on me? Motherfucker! Dude, this is nah, bro. Nah, dude. Like this is this is getting out of hand, man. We got phone numbers. This like that though. What is that movie where you answer the phone and then you hear how you' about to die, bro? Apparently, I'm about to get ran over by a train or some shit, dude. This is fucked, bro. Calling it plays some distorted audio. Which contains Morse code. When decrypted, it spells out there are. How do you catch that? It contains Morse code. Where did you hear Morse code at, dude? Where did you where did you hear all I heard was robots having sex, bro? Like I didn't hear no Morse code. Which contains Morse code. When decrypted, it spells out there are other receivers, just like the end of the video. If you send that number a text message, you're gonna get the same result. A reply saying there are other receivers. You can so text it too? 
What happens if I send it some nudes? What happens if I send it a uh, send it a titty pic, bro? Show a little nipple, show a little ass, bro. What happens then? At this point, we get the message. They're gonna try to communicate with us through other receivers, other devices. They've already proven that they can do it with phones, but what else? Well, below that phone number, as well as in the text crawl at the start of the video, is a website. It's actually a really clever move. The video is all about switching from analog to digital, and now there's a digital element to the story. So, bravo, Local 58. Well thought out. So, yeah, we checked it out. Great. Sure Round enough, of applause. There was, in fact, an ARG lying in wait for us, though we were actually a little bit late to the party. Apparently, this one's been going on for months, and the latest video was just drawing in all us stragglers that hadn't been following the series or its creator on Twitter. Better late than never, I suppose. The page you're sent to has what appears to be a broken image of a diagram explaining how to use your analog to digital converter. Below that right. is another massive image which is just compressed beyond- Dude, I remember! After I'd watched the video, I had went to the website and it looked like I was descending down the seven circles of hell, dude. Ignition. There are some words that can be made out here and there, like public eye, paid programming, civic development agency, emergency alert system, but all of those are just written. I have glasses and I still couldn't see. Uploads from the series. There might be other things in here, but so far neither us nor the local 58 subreddit have found anything. I will say that the last part of this massive image looks to me like a hand reaching down and infecting the ground. In I was thinking the same thing. The earth, but that's just vague speculation. No, to me, the main thing of interest here is actually at the top of the page. Here we can see that the actual website seems to be a knockoff of the Wayback Machine, something called Look Back. This sort of website allows you to look at a website's history and see what edits have been made to it over the years. If you have never tried this, I highly recommend that you do. It is super fun. I'm alright. You would be right. amazed by the changing looks of some of your favorite web We pages. good, little bro. Instance, early 2000s YouTube was wild. Here's us at just under 100,000 subscribers in 2013. Here's the Angry Video Game Nerds channel from 2008. YouTube was a Dude, very YouTube different was beast so back then. These different. little spikes that we see on the graph above represent these different save states in time. And by clicking them, we get to end up at different pages. Some take us directly to the YouTube channel for Local 58. Others give us a bit more to chew on. The one I really want to focus on is the first one, the one from 1999. Clicking on this gives us a very okay. old website. I was a little, I was a little two-year-old toddler, bro. Uh, right, you guys know how I feel about toddlers, bro. And it was me as a small child, dude. Oh, no. Bro, society was in a panic with me running around as a toddler, dude. I was a menace. Nah, bro, I was committing war crimes and violence everywhere. It was bad. One, the one from 1999. Clicking on this gives us a very old website, which doesn't show us much except another glitched technical manual. This time for a vestigial low band filter. I was initially worried that this image was just going to give us info for a tool that we needed to buy in order to convert some analog code to a digital one, but if you adjust the contrast and brightness multiple times, a QR code is actually revealed in the bottom. How would you know to do that? How do you look at the page and think, hmm, I think there's a code in here. Let me ch change the exposure and the brightness. Mm, let me let me do that. Like, who just, who just does that? If you adjust the contrast and brightness multiple times, a QR code is actually revealed in the bottom right-hand corner. The QR code doesn't take you anywhere, but instead reveals a unique phrase, parasite is to host as inhabitant is to environment. If you ever paid attention in math class or have ever taken standardized testing, this sort of problem might seem familiar to you. And that's not the only secret phrase that we can find across these websites. Returning to the look back header, you'll actually see some entry points from 2001. If you click the first one, you get a 500 internal server error, which has itself a fun little Easter egg. The server information at the bottom should read Apache, but instead uses the word Apogee, another moon reference. In this case, the point at which the moon is furthest from the planet. Uh, but that's not looks all. Like in movies. an ARG, a broken web page is rarely actually a broken web page. In this case, we see information about the server error, but you'll notice that there's a four word address that looks to be a folder location. I tried plugging it into the URL bar and got this. What? Oh! Ah! Let's go, Matt! Another Let's fucking go! The two greatest detectives on earth, bro! Matt Bat and Light Skin Sherlock Holmes! Just solving cases, dude! Let's this fucking go! Page takes you to another document, this time talking all about the wonders of home recording. It also has itself a creepy final paragraph all about our mortal eyes. Before the gilded door sill of our master's silent house, we lift our mortal eyes along its wide forgotten stair and fix them there upon an empty throne. I think Coolio said that same thing. 
lifting up to the empty throne of the master. Hmm, feels good, man. The throne here is a reference yet again to the moon, as we see back in Sky Watching that the moon is labeled his throne. So again, more evidence suggesting that the moon itself isn't alive, but maybe some massive monster living inside of it. Gotta admit, that seems like splitting hair. So now the moon is not the demon! Nice, dude! Why do you keep doing- Why does this just keep getting complicated? Because against the whole extraterrestrial thing- You throw philosophy anyway, at me behold, now, dude! Right below that paragraph, there's another QR code. This time, hidden in the TV screen, which gives us yet another phrase, A predator cannot differentiate prey from accomplice. The final That's piece of the ARG that I want to mention is the 404 page. I actually wasn't able to find this one myself, but lots of people over on the local 58 subreddit have been data mining this page, trying to find any new clues. And the earliest screenshot of Nerds. this I could find came from Lord Gaben 5841. Apologies if Lord Gaben is Lord Gaben. That sounds like a Reddit user, bro. Lord Gaben. And actually the first, but as far as I could tell, that was just the first instance of this being found. Anyway, this page at first seems Dude's like name a is Gaben. page, nothing too special. But if you inspect the source code of the website, which Feels so good to do because it's been a long time since we've had to check the source code of a web page. Now it's our source coding, dude. Bro, if the, as soon as they start throwing gym class at me, it's over, bro. I flunked. I'm dropping out, dude. This is fucked. This is this is. Can we, when's lunch, bro? When is lunch? I I'm good at that. Right? Or like pottery? Can we do? Can we do something like that? It's a little less complicated. Reads, what you need is no longer here. I guess we gotta keep looking. Underneath, there's more text. This one looks like a jumbled mess, but if you highlight it, copy, paste, and then spread out the spacing of the letters, or again, just check the source code for the site, you'll see what it says. Beyond a certain point, watching is no different from doing. So at this point, we have ourselves three random phrases. A I don't know about that. I don't know about that, dude, because I could watch a lot of porn, bro. That don't mean I'm doing it. Is no that don't, that don't mean, 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 so that don't mean I'm doing it. We have ourselves three random phrases. A parasite is to a host as an inhabitant is to the environment. A predator cannot differentiate prey from accomplice. And beyond a certain point, watching is no different from doing. So what do they all mean? And how does it connect to a living and homicidal moon monster? Well, let's take the first one. What if we humans are the parasites? We inhabit this environment, this planet, taking advantage of the host for our own means, regardless of the consequences. We destroy rainforests for profit. We throw millions of of pounds of trash into the ocean Facts. we pollute the skies every single we're day. just awful Sounds people like an apt analogy to me and for terrible all you creatures they're thinking well i don't do that i recycle i walk to work too bad wait are you saying we are the parasites dude that might be the most accurate thing dude that's a bar Humans are the parasites of the earth, dude. That's hard. Disguise every Put that on a t-shirt, right? Or fuck live, laugh, love. Dude, hang that up on your wall. We are parasites. Every single day. Sounds like an apt analogy to me. And for all of you who are sitting there thinking, well, I don't do that. I recycle. I walk to work. Too bad. Because of the second phrase, beyond a certain point, watching is no different from doing. This planet is too far gone in the eyes of whoever is leaving us these messages. As such, the fact that you're just sitting by and watching it happen makes you just as responsible as exactly so, is that it it's just a just an environmental message yeah i think the pieces largely fit but i do think there's so more to it from you're telling me i endured a countless number of minutes with psychological torture emotional distress and mental trauma just to be taught a lesson that we are destroying the earth Mr. Beast did it in, in like a 10 minute video and there was no fear induced in that dude. What happened to that bro? What happened to public sir dude doing dude, dude, one of them shorts right? Spongebob. Have Spongebob tell people bro. Fire's a better way to go about this dude. Perspective. Let's stop just looking at the about this, bro. and instead start looking at the idea of killing the planet more literally. If the moon and stars in Local 58 are actual entities or home to greater cosmic beings, then who's to say that the Earth isn't also one of those things? A cosmic entity that we, the parasites, are actually killing. And that is where our third phrase comes in. A predator cannot differentiate prey from accomplice. I spoke earlier about the moon worshippers, but who are they? I believe that they're an organization called the Thought Research Initiative. In canon, they were the ones that made the 1983 video Real Sleep. Now, why them? Well, their logo appears to be on the latest Web page from Dude, Real Sleep's the worst one, right? That's the one where they show you fucking, they like show you faces 
Where they like flash faces in front of you and you have to like read things? Dude, that's the worst one. 21. Though it is super distorted, you can definitely make out the slanted T and even parts of the R and the I. Also, according to the Game Detectives Wiki, which has been tracking changes to the Local 58 website, when the 404 page was originally discovered on September 13th, there was a nearly invisible element at the bottom of the page that read, Copyright 2021, Fault Research Initiative, LLC. So, it would seem like they're trying to help the moon accomplish its goal of wiping out the parasites. What? Why is this so complicated? Destruction by Why can't it just be boss, straightforward? Why can't it just be, oh yeah, aliens on the moon are coming down to wipe out all of humanity and take control of the earth, dude? Just leave it at that, bro. Why are we gonna, why are we gonna get this complicated with things, bro? I can't keep up, dude. There's one problem with that. They too are gonna get caught in the crossfire. A predator cannot differentiate prey from accomplice. This organization or cult or whatever you want to call them may be helping. They may believe that by doing so, they're gonna be spared by the moon for doing it, like so many other religions do, but I believe that this message is a warning for them. They will not be spared because they are still human. They are still parasites that must be removed. When speaking about a cosmic entity, the lives of a few humans are too minuscule to care. The predator cannot differentiate the prey. So, there you have it, friends. What I've been able to figure nice, out so far when dude, it comes to local that's 50, great. the moon, or a giant monster in it, is mad about being ignored and a series of cultists on Earth are hijacking broadcasts to fight on its behalf but clearly there's more here a huge shout out to the local 58 subreddit as well as yeah shout out the nerds Wiki, who've been doing the dorks and the geeks all the changes to this site allowing me to catch up on things that happened long before i was made aware of these websites even existing and sure i've tried to piece together a narrative based on the information that we have now but there are still a few things that may change that conclusion for example there's that big colorful image on the main web page which some members of the reddit community might induce seizures more information if you use an analog television system as a monitor the compressed tri logo because like yeah we just we all just it's 20, 2021 we all just have an analog tv just lying around dude well let me let me let me go out into my let me let me go into my spare bedroom pull out the analog tv bro because we just have those as a monitor the compressed tri logo feels like there's got to be something there i also wonder if we're fully finished with the phone audio sure it's kind of solved because we did the morse code but there's also some muffled audio near the end that nobody seems to have gotten anything out of user shades 10318 actually called out that it sounds similar to an old radio scrambled signal and reminds us that the article about the low band filter might be a clue to solving it this is known as voice inversion scramble but without an old school radio with a sideband frequency setting, it doesn't seem totally possible to solve it digitally. At least not that I could find with the limited. Who got amount one of those? What did he say? It doesn't as voice inversion scrambling, but without an old school radio with a sideband frequency setting, it doesn't seem. Do you? Does anybody have an old school radio with a sideband frequency rating? Does anybody have one of those, dude? I know somebody got one. We got some weirdos in the world, bro. Somebody's finding what pawn shop got it, dude. Look in your grandma's basement. Totally Somebody got to it. it digitally. At least not that I could find with the limited amount. They was of time listening to. They was listening to Frank Sinatra sure on that. If any of this is interesting to you, I highly encourage you to go over to the local and listening to Jackie Robinson hit home runs subreddit to join in and let me know if you find anything new. This franchise is far from over, and I'm looking forward to covering it again when we've solved more puzzles. In the meantime, that's comforting. It's not over up, yet. Look nice. Up, look Thanks. Up, look. And especially don't look at the moon. Instead, you could look at this awesome poster of the moon thanks to our sponsor for today's episode, Displate. All right, dude. Jesus Christ, bro. Like, uh, dude, why do these things have to be so complicated, bro? Would have been a whole lot better if you had just told me, oh, yeah, the world is doomed and aliens are going to slaughter us all, bro. And now you're telling me that there are deep cryptic hidden messages that have still yet to be deciphered this is a warning about humans being a parasite for the planet and and, and de completely destroying it just because of our existence bro the moon is warning us of our imminent doom bro this has got so many damn layers to it i feel like i'm watching shrek bro why are we doing this